Sheffield, my city, will always be the home to me, no matter where I go or whatever sights I will see. Wonderful people, so happy, so helpful, so kind. Sheffield, no better place you will find. My city of Sheffield is simply the best. England's finest city, better than all the rest. Wherever in the world I will choose to roam, I will always return to my city, my Sheffield, my own. Hi, I love you, all right? What is it? My name's John Burkill. I'm 80 years old, and I'm known in Sheffield as a madman in a tramp. And I am trying to raise a million quid for Mike Millen by just the donation that's gone into the bucket. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but we'll do it. No question about that. There you go, Lovett. Thank you very much. I've got to go back as far as 1967 when I, uh, I entered a, a, a local race called the Sheffield Star Wars, which is well, very, very famous in Sheffield. Uh, don't get me wrong, I wanted to win that, but it was too fast for me. So I went on the 1970s, 80s, I went on long distance walks for various charities. Uh, not me, Mike Miller, at that, that particular time. And uh, I did long distance walks like from Cleethorpes, Blackpool, Skegness, Land's End, back to Sheffield. And later on, in the 1990s, I began devoted to raising money as much as I can for, for Mike Millen and people like that. You know what I mean? That look after people that are really, really, really poor. <laughs> I did have a reason at a particular time because my uh, youngest son, Scott, he had severe learning difficulties. So I raised, uh, by walking long distances, as much as I can for handicapped kids and, and everything, you know, special schools, which were very, very special to me. So I'm proud of have done that. I really am. Back in the 1970s and 80s, I really am. Thousands of people will be taking part in the Sheffield Half Marathon this morning. There are numerous road closures coming in for the race, which sets off from the city centre. And Radio Sheffield's Richard Kelly is there for us. Yes, good morning Mick. It's a cold but beautiful sunny morning with hardly a breath of wind, so perfect running conditions today. This hugely popular annual event has attracted around 7,000 runners this year. The race will get underway at 9.30 this morning and of course someone will finish first, but with thousands of pounds being raised for so many good causes, there really are no losers today, only winners. John is, is a legend in the city now, there's no doubt, and he's done so much good, and he'll continue to doing that. And as he said, while he's got the WD-40 to put on his knees, he's going to keep walking. You know, out of adversity, and it was adversity, John decided to take on a challenge to raise money for Mike Miller, uh, a quarter of a million. And in that quarter of a million that he raised, that first quarter of a million pounds, he stamped on the city of Sheffield really what the city was all about. It was, it was all about friendship. And I've seen the people that come up to him. And, and on the one hand, you know, they, he's a laugh, he's a joke, he's a high fiver. But equally so, they know the money that they're giving is going to a very good cause, Mike Miller. And as he tells many, many stories, you know, to youngsters who are putting in a little bit of money into his tin and saying, I hope you make my grandma better. And that's the hope that actually a lot of people put in John. And John responds to that in a very positive way. When I first met John, I didn't know a lass that existed, me. I was all sport, sport mad. And uh, I was down at a, a place at Darnell, where I come from, 
which is a little picture house. I saw these couple of lasses outside, and I said to old Ronnie Plymouth, my mate, she'll be tall, ain't them, you know what I mean? He said, what's up with you? They're badly, he said. It took me ages to go on and speak to her, but I think I loved her from the first moment I saw her. And, uh, uh, of course, National Service then were about, so I know at 18, we went in, and I'd hoped she'd wait for me when I come up. She did, bless her, and uh, we were married soon after. He said he's somebody for everybody. Well, in my case, it was right, and we had a shadow of them. Uh, she was somebody else, because somebody else. She took me all over that dance floor, all over the place. Get City Hall and Lucano and places like that, you know what I mean? Oh, marvellous, marvellous, man. Marvellous. That year will live with me forever, and I'll never forget that. I lost my daughter, you know, and I lost my missus. June was absolutely 100% uh, behind what I was trying to do. Was, no, no, wrong. She was 1,000% what I was doing. And uh, the one that stands out in all the marathons and the races I've done, it's got to be the Sheffield Marathon when I pushed my little wife round. And she, I, I've got hundreds and hundreds of medals. And I know, literally awards left, right and centre. And she said, John, I've never won anything in my life. She was, she was very, very ill. And then she says to me, well, I thought I'd love to have love to do something like that. So I rang the Sheffield organiser of the Sheffield Marathon, Bob Jackson, who I told me that, and uh, he gave a special permission to push it around in a, in a wheelchair, which I did. And uh, believe you me, pushing around in that marathon, uh, when I came into that stadium, as if I'd won it, and, and I've never seen her so happy in my life. Both her hands went in here as if she'd won the race. And the runners are lying in the track, and it's very, very special. It means tears to me. I haven't even think about it. The Lord Mayor presented that medal with tears in his eyes and everything, and it was absolutely tremendous. It really was. And I get very emotional when I think about that. But she died a fortnight afterwards. Um, uh, but she got what she wanted a, a medal. She was a great lass. She really was. I still miss her. Of course I do. We do. But I know they're waiting for us, and I know we'll all get together again when we do get up there, so we'll all, we'll all meet again sometime. He's lovely. He's such a humble person. Um, he's not selfish at all. He thinks about everybody. He always asks us how people are. Myself, I've been through cancer experience and it always has the time to ask everybody how they are. I think I can quite uh, categorically say that John is one in a million. Uh, you'll never meet anyone like him anywhere or anywhere in the country uh, ever again. Uh, I think his whole image, uh, what he does, the fact he pushes his pram, the amount of money he raises, and the amount of respect he has within Sheffield and the wider running community is absolutely unbelievable. I go on buses and you can look through a window, you can be at different parts of Sheffield, and there's the green man with his pram. No matter where you go, you speak to anyone, oh yeah, we know John, the man with the pram, man with the green hair, and uh, we'll put money in his bucket wherever he comes by. And uh, for him to raise as much as he has done is, is immense. People will just keep coming up to him, putting money in his thing. It's, it's just inspiring. I mean, don't you think it's inspiring? 80 year old man what, walks about with shorts on in the middle of winter. You know, how can you get better than that? A lot of people, they retire, they get to 60 odd, uh, and they don't know what to do with their souls. But I do know what to do with myself, and that's to go out here and raise as much as I can. I can go out there and chuck it down with snow, and I can get a bucket full of snow. When I get 10 pence in that bucket, it's 10 pence more than Mike Miller that day before. I, I've got a, a vision, uh, a little lass on Barnsley Road, which is a very steep hill in Sheffield, many years ago in snow, and uh, this car pulled up and uh, a little voice in back of the car said, going to put some money in your bucket, Mr Green Man. I said, of course you can, look. But looking at her, you could see that she was poor. I could see that. And uh, so I 
been in I-5 with Vivian and she was were, she were absolutely, oh, a smile on the face was terrific. Anyway, I, I never thought no more about it. I walked about 10 or 15 yards and her dad ran after me and he was sobbing. I said, whatever's the matter? He said, she's got leukemia. That vision never moves. If I have a bad day, I think snow and rain and whatever it might be, wind, you name it, and all of a sudden that little face comes to me and it won't shift. And I don't want it to shift. I don't want it ever to shift. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here this evening to award one of our most outstanding citizens, Mr. John Burkill, with the highest honour that Sheffield has to offer, the freedom of the city. A roll of honour which contains such names as Nelson Mandela, Harry Brearley, Sir Winston Churchill, and athletes such as Lord Coe, Michael Vaughan and most recently Dame Jessica Ennis. John has received many accolades over the years. He was an Olympic torchbearer in 2012 and won the Pride of Yorkshire Award in 2012 and he was awarded the British Empire Medal in 2013 for his services to charity. He really, really deserves it, yeah. I like the man under the green because he's a genuine, lovely, lovely gentleman. For me, he's, he's most, one of the most inspirational people I've ever met. Uh, and of course, because I work for Macmillan, how could I not like someone who's raised three quarters of a million pounds for us and wants to raise a million and more? You know, it's just. Unbelievable. I've met so many famous people. I mean, you can't get Ireland Queen, fair enough. You can't get Ireland Queen no matter how you look at it. But I always say it's the last person that puts some money in my bucket. They're the most important people to me. Uh, Ronnie recently, a, a, a couple of kids come up to me and they said, you're going to save my granddad, aren't you? He's only about seven or eight years old. And he says, you will save him, won't you? He's very poor. And the dad come up to me, and he gave him the money to put in the bucket. And they think, for well, what I'm doing, I can go and save him. And that, to me, is absolutely heartbreaking. And the stories that get told is, is something that you can't, you can't put into words. You really can't. I'd like to hope that somewhere along the line, they can find a cure. Now, whether that that's possible, I really don't know. But I've seen what Mike Millen do, and I've seen what all these auspices do, and how they do it. And they'll get everybody, and be happiness in the, in the final moments, and that's, that's something that is very precious. John, the Pram Man Burkill, <laughs> as he is known, it now gives me great pleasure to invite you to signify your acceptance by signing the role of Honorary Freeman of the City of Sheffield. I know one thing about it, when I started these races, I was six foot six, I don't know about <laughs> He epitomises all that's good in Sheffield, all that's good in humanity. And because of that, because his hard work, his endurance, the joy is brought to a lot of people, hope is brought to a lot of people. Today, the city has said, John, we're so proud of you. We're going to give you the highest honour that this city can give him, the freedom of the city.
There has to be something really special for, for it to be awarded because it's not an easy thing to achieve. You know, we get pushed to ask for a knighthood for him. And you know, if we could give John a knighthood, we'd give him a knighthood, but unfortunately it's not our decision. Uh, but you know, he's, he's got his British Empire medal and he's continuing to pick up uh, awards and accolades, so can't do much more than that. I get asked this question quite a lot. Will you stop if you get a million quid? No, I don't think I will. I just think I'll carry on as long as I can. I get my Ben zipping in the morning, some WV40 on my knees, and away we go. If you've only got one chance at this game, you can have as much money in the world. If you've got your old, get a million there. That's what I think.